so diffraction is a technique that's probably unique to Tim and, and maybe goes back and more similar to scatterometry and some of the other capabilities there. But Tim is unique in that you usually can get imaging and diffraction at the same time. And so with this, it's very powerful for looking at elemental compositions and the crystallinity of your sample. Uh, we can look and if we see a diffraction pattern like we see in the B image up above, we can measure those diffraction spots and get information about uh, the actual structure of the crystal. If we see, uh, you know, diffuse rings, we understand there's some amorphous nature to it. So the, the, the atoms are not aligned in a crystalline structure. We can look at the atomic planes. Uh, we can look at orientations, the, the number of crystals that are there. And, and we can use this information in a variety of different ways. We also, again, have to consider this in terms of its waves. So by looking at how much the wave has been scattered from the uh, blocking aperture or the blocking beam, this is the, the SAED mode, we can actually calculate what that wavelength is and that can give us direct information about the chemistry of the sample and what elements are in that sample. And as can be seen here on the left, we're looking at a combination of gold and silicon and we can actually see how those impact the diffraction rings and which ones are crystalline, which ones are amorphous and you know, what, what is available in that image in terms of the, uh, the nature and composition of the structure.